Uh-oh, fire! Fire! City Hall is burning! Don't worry, I'll put it out. Ah! <laughs> hey, great show out there. Look, if you want an autograph right now, you either gotta give me a pen or get me some snow. <laughs> I look at you and I see a series. In fact, we would like to put cameras in your house and follow the human drama that is your family. Kind of like the real world. All right. Then everyone would get to see me and my wacky antics. Black! So do we have a deal? Let's shake on it. Mom, are we on TV right now? Yes, Chris. Your father signed a contract, and now we're gonna be on TV for the next six months. How could you do this? You turned my life into the 24-hour loser channel. You, cameraman! Make sure you use that Sybil Shepherd filter. If they can make her look half-human, they should be able to take six months off my face. Um, I, I find the toothpaste with the pump is a little easier to get on the brush. Um... You might have noticed my underwear has a, has a hole in it. It's, uh, you know, I, it's, I, I don't see any reason to, to throw it out. It's, the waist is still fine. You know, you can see, see it's still real stretchy. Mom, you have to do something. Dad's on TV parading around in his underwear like some gross European guy. Oh, no, sweetie. Your father's just a free spirit. Here, a good breakfast is the foundation of a good day. And a... And a bad breakfast is the foundation of indigestion. Hey-o! <laughs> hey, I'm, hi, I'm Brian. What the hell is this? I said egg whites only! Are you trying to give me a bloody heart attack? <laughs> Make it again! Ah, uh, the breakfast thing. <laughs> yes. I, it, it wasn't even about the eggs, really. Frankly, I like the yolks. I, I, I don't... I have no problem with... It's just... There's always been a lot of tension between Lois and me. And... It's not so much that I want to kill her. It's just I want her not to be alive anymore. Uh, I, I sometimes wonder if, if all women are this difficult. And then I think to myself, my God, wouldn't it be marvelous if I turned out to be a homosexual? One time my dad pooped in the neighbor's yard and then lied about it. I knew it! Well, I'm glad I used his shovel to clean it up. Wow, Joe, this sort of makes you like Larry from Three's Company. You know, I always thought he was sexy. Yes! I am all about Larry over here! Um, on Sundays, we generally catch the early bird special here at the Lobster Shanty. There's fresh seafood, good prices, plus it's a shanty. And you get to pick your own lobster. Yes, yes, that one looks like he's got some fight in him. Take off the rubber bands, I'm going in. Oh my god, it is them. I can't believe the Griffins eat here like everyday people. We're like trying to eat here. Mag, put your bib on. I don't want to wear a bib. Mag, honey, it's very cold in here. Maybe you'd be more comfortable with your bib on. It means your nipples are sticking out. Mom! <laughs> nipples, nipples! That's it! I want those cameras off! Fourth wall! You're breaking the fourth wall! Meg, you're the one that got us on TV in the first place. Well, now I am getting us off TV. I quit. Hmm. Look, this isn't necessarily a bad thing. Oh, we can't do the show without Meg. Why not? Our research shows that Meg is the least popular character on the show. But everyone loves the rest of you. Lois, Lois, women 25 to 49, they see you as a role model. Really? Absolutely. What about me? Oh, <laughs> you. Look, the bottom line is you folks are all still under contract, OK? But I've come up with a solution I think will make everyone happy. Jason Gallagher. Present. Meg Griffin. Oh, sorry, I'm late, Mr. Here. Taylor. I... Over here. Thank you for meeting us here. Can I offer you a cigarette? Peter. Sorry. We have to keep this brief. Why are we here? No cameras. 
The TV executives don't want viewers to get confused and think you're Meg Griffin. So you're just gonna let them recast me? It could have been worse. They could have gone with plan B. Fine, do your stupid show without me. I'll be over Cleveland's house. I don't even want to be a part of this family anymore. Meg. She'll be okay. Come on, we gotta get back. The cameramen think we're taking Chris to soccer practice. We're gonna be late. Why won't you talk to me? Oh, Meg, honey, our home is your home for as long as you like. We could offer you the guest room, provided that it doesn't bother you that my great-uncle Chet died in there. Oh, I guess not. Uh, when did he die? We think sometime between the Tonight Show and the Today Show. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> you know, some, some people think that dandelions are weeds, but, uh, you know, I, I always think, who the, who the hell decided tulips were so great? Hey, hey, I'm over here. Hey, hey! Hi, Chris. You know my name? Of course I do, silly. I'm your sister, Matt. Hey, hey, camera guy, check this out. Peter Griffin and Madam. Oh, Madam, you're a lusty old gal, aren't you? You're the one with your hand up my backside, darling. Oh, she got me. Hey, hey, come back here. Hey, she's gonna sing Rainbow Connection. Uh, Mr. Quagmire, can I use your toothpaste? <gasps> oh, my God, excuse me. Hey, no problem, Meg. You probably bought me another three minutes. Giggity, 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 giggity. Oh, oh, the funniest thing happened at work today. See, Hi, there was everybody. this... Hey! I had the worst day. First, I didn't make cheerleader because I'm so plain, and I still don't have a date for Friday night, as usual. I'm going upstairs and writing my journal about how I'll never grow big, full breasts like these. It's not fair, Lois. If I don't get any airtime, how am I ever going to get my own spinoff where I'm a retired baseball umpire who opens a bar? At the center of the earth. You know, we don't get many of you molten rock men in here. Well, at these prices, I'm not surprised. That's it, pal. You are out of here. To hell with the cameras. How could we ever let them replace our little girl? Oh, I miss her, Peter. Me too. She's like that dorky Baldwin brother who isn't as good looking or successful and never answers my letters, but he's still a Baldwin, damn it. And so is Meg. Let's go get her back. So, Griffins, what can I do for you? I'll tell you what you can do. You fire that sexy, interesting version of our daughter and make us a family again. Or we walk. Fire her? She's the highest-testing character on the show. Besides, you can't quit. You have a contract. Oh, yeah? Well, here's what I think of your contract. I think it's awful, and I don't much care for it at all, my good sir. Let's go, Lois. We're out of here. Well, you put me in a very awkward position, Peter. But I guess I have no choice. are you? We're the Griffins. No, you're not. You're Tom Arnold. And you're friend Rusher. And you're, um, that fat guy from Boogie Nights. And you're the Olsen twins? Blast! Damn you all! Victory is mine! Whose leg do you have to hump to get a dry martini around here? Oh, Peter, you promised me you wouldn't drink at the stag party. Uh... Ugh, I do not sound like that. Oh, this is terrible. We're the laughing stock of the town, and we've lost our daughter. Meg! Oh, Mom. Look, I don't care if you guys embarrass me. I want to come home. Oh, sweetie, it's good to have you back. Hey, honey, I'm sorry we missed your ball game. What? Here's an ice cream. We love you, Meg. I love you, too.